Hey guys, this is Full Gaming Instincts here, and today we'll be moving on with our tutorial series on how to create a first-person shooter game in Unity. First off, if you're new to my series, I recommend you go and view my previous tutorials and then come to this one. So you'll have a better understanding of what's going on and how we've arrived at this point in our game. So if you're following my series thus far, you'll know that today I'll be showing you guys how you can add a med pack in your game so when your player is injured and you need health you can just find a health pack and collide with it and your health will go back to maximum good stuff now first off what you need to do as usual is check for the link in the description below and download the package and import it into your project good stuff this will be a pretty short tutorial it's pretty simple and straightforward what you need to do is just uh, open up the folder go down to the prefab I already made a prefab with the scripts and everything on it now uh, I'll show you guys something in a bit you just take the prefab and just drag it into your game and the med pack is in your game now now this here is a um, sound effect from a gun right but you guys can find a sort of um, med pack to, uh, sound effect to use in your game alright so yeah this is the sound this is the clip that's gonna play when you collide with it and your health goes back to a hundred so yeah that's pretty much that all you need to do now is just um, go to your scripts folder and take the um, go to your first person controller go down to the player help and we'll just remove the player help that you already have on your um, first person controller and you just take the player help new and just drag it onto the first person controller good stuff now some changes I've made to the script you just open it up in mono develop and I'll just show you guys pretty quickly the adjustments I made to the player the player's help in order for the um, player to you know be able to collide with the med pack in order for his life to go back to a hundred he or she's life go back to a hundred yes yeah, so right here the pick up medic kit now function medic now this from here straight down to the bottom is basically the code that I've uh, added to the player new so the player health sorry so that's why I have new here so when you you know import the project you're not gonna get an error saying that there's multiple scripts with the same name good stuff alright this is the function the medic now if our hit point plus equals medic we want the our what should you say your current health to be equal to whatever you set on the uh, medic so let's see let's see right here you have 50 all right you can change this to 10 that means if your health is at 40 and you collide with the med pack you're gonna get 50 health in total now since it's at 50 and if we hit play you'll notice that the uh, player's health is gonna just go back straight to a hundred now I'll just shoot the ground to injure the player and as you can see the player's health now is 53 so when we collide with the med pack the med pack disappears and our health goes to a hundred now our health supposed to be a uh, hundred and three however what I did in the script is basically said if hit point is less than max hit point hit point is is more than sorry more than the max hit point we want hit point to be equal to the max hit point so which this basically means if as you saw just now our health was 53 and we collide with the med pack which gives us 50 life in addition so that's supposed to make it 103 but we set the script so that what whatever our hit whenever sorry our hit point exceeds our max hit point it's going to minus the amount that it that it exceeds so it'll be equal to a hundred so it just minus the 
tree and just leave it as a hundred so that's pretty much it for the script guys you know and that's pretty much it for this tutorial it's pretty simple yeah so if you guys want multiple med packs you could just duplicate it and just drop them wherever in your scene good stuff yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial yeah so if you guys like this tutorial you can give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my channel and in the next tutorial we will be doing some final touches to our project because we will be coming to a close now you may notice that our game doesn't sort of have like say we're shooting you can't really see how much ammunition you have as I told you guys it's a pretty basic uh, tutorial you know tutorial series on how to create a FPS game in the in unity so we're not gonna really be touching on those stuff however if you're interested in learning those aspect of uh, creating a game in unity you can check out my new tutorial series on how to create a zombie like FPS game with the unity game engine and I will be touching on these basic stuff that we've done in this series as well as going a little more in depth with the advanced aspect of creating a game so I will be focusing on animation a little more in depth where we'll play an animation when the player walks as well as when he reloads sprinting animation as well all of those everything pertaining to the player when it comes to animation we will be touching on so you guys can look out for that and we'll be touching on some other cool stuff as well for instance the GY so GY menu and we will be displaying the amount of ammunition we have remaining on the screen as well as some other cool stuff will be added in our game too so yeah you guys can look out for that once again if you like this video you can give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my tutorial series on how to create a first person shooter game in unity so until next time continue making games guys peace